Hi, I'm Major Dave LaFrance. I'm with the New York Air National Guard up in Schenectady, New York. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about motorcycle safety and uh, how that's impacted my life. My son Connor was in 2007 a national champion in dirt, dirt track and had just started racing, uh, road racing and had made that transition quite successfully. In September 2007, Connor was invited to try out for the Red Bull Rookies Cup, which was a new series that Red Bull was sponsoring with KTM that enabled young road racers a chance to travel on the national AMA circuit and be able to have a factory technician take care of their bikes and, and see what it, racing like a pro was all about. So we were really excited about this opportunity and we headed down to Barber Motor Sports Park a week early to try to get a little familiar with the track prior to the test. Connor was out on the track practicing, uh, getting ready for the test the following week with the Red Bull Rookies Cup. And he was out with a Columbia and uh, Thomas Porta and they were getting some good laps in. And uh, what happened to be a momentary lapse of situational awareness, Connor turned around to clear for Thomas who was behind him. And upon doing so, uh, with his body bent, he turned the handlebars to the right and uh, drove off the track and impacted some guardrails. And at 14 years old, Connor uh, passed away as a result of his injuries that day. My son Connor was fortunate at 14 years old in 2007. He had found his passion in life and was pursuing it with abandon. Uh, I made sure that he had all the proper safety equipment. So he had a Suomi as a helmet sponsor, he had CD as a boot sponsor, and Vance and Leathers were sponsoring him for, for full body leathers. He also attended uh, various race schools such as American Super Camp, which is a nationally uh, recognized uh, camp for people that are either racing dirt or racing on the street. His first day racing as an expert dirt tracker, uh, he had the opportunity to race against the current number two in the country, factory supported uh, dirt tracker Jared Meese. And uh, not only did Connor beat Jared once, but Connor beat Jared twice that day. Uh, At that point, we knew he was on to great things as a motorcycle racer. So, why the story? As a family, we've chosen to celebrate Connor's 14 years that God gave us with him. And we've also tried to create as many positive outcomes uh, to his short life as possible. If I can save one life today by talking to you guys, conveying how important it is to do your sport safely or chase your passion safely, then it's all worth it to me. Life can be short and as military members, I think we all know that, uh, that was driven home to me as a result of this. And, and what I learned from that was wear the proper safety gear. Safety equipment works, use it. Get proper training. Whatever your sport is, whatever your passion is, before you go out there and do it, have someone show you how to do it properly. And the last thing I wanted to convey is maintain your situational awareness, especially if you're doing an extreme sport. After Connor passed away, uh, I was at uh, a national motorcycle race and I had someone come up to me and, and give me their condolences. And uh, he said something interesting. He said, you know, I'm really sorry. You are living my nightmare. And I find it interesting because it, it certainly is the worst thing that I can imagine to, to happen to a parent. But we, we try to take um, the, the situation that was presented to us and make as many positive things as we can come from this. And one of these is conveying to people like you how to accomplish your sport safely and hopefully be able to protect you from getting seriously hurt. What I'd like to sh pass on to you is, is find your passion, chase your dreams, but do it safely.